I am Sarah Bellamy. I am Artistic Director of Penumbra. Well, I, my experience with Penumbra goes back a long time. I was a little girl there and grew up there, and I've been working with the company for about 20 years. Um, Penumbra is Minnesota's Black Professional Performing Arts Organization, and um, we are 44 years old this year. So the piece that we submitted is called The Light and Water in Our Eyes, and it was created in response to um, everything that happened in Minnesota after George Floyd's tragic murder and the really powerful uprisings that we saw from Minnesotans and indeed all over the world in support of um, racial equity. And um, we, we really just wanted to celebrate the creative resiliency that the black community has um, afforded Minnesotans for so long vis-a-vis -vis Penumbra's stage. We paired um, production stills from our shows over the last several years with some original narrative and a beautiful original score written by one of our company members, Hannibal Lacumbe. And then my father and I read the narrative that I'd written. Um, and it's, it's a series of, you could call them maybe movements, that um, I think just try to capture not only what we were feeling, you know, personally as artists responding to the moment, but also what I think, you know, the reverberations or echoes that were moving through the black community, our grief, our pride, our rage, um, our enduring commitment to um, moving this country, kicking and screaming forward. My name is Lou Bellamy. I'm founder and artistic director emeritus of Penumbra Theater. I'm also a uh, freelance theater director. I direct plays all around the country. Sarah wrote the text for that piece and wrote it intentionally uh, with gaps, artistic gaps, where the community, where a musical artist, where anyone might fit into it and make it their own. A lot of her writing is autobiographical. Uh, you wouldn't know it if you're not in the family because when we are as, uh, as true to ourselves and as, as specific as we can be, that's when we reach that universal. The vicissitudes that, that we're going through at the moment are not new to the black community. We've seen uh, uh, medical challenges, the Tuskegee experiments, those kinds of things. We've uh, been in situations in Reconstruction, for instance, that made all white people cops. So we've been, we've been through this, and, and as a community, we've developed a certain resiliency and a way to, to uh, weather those challenges. 